Hi, this is Father Louis Skirty with our final segment interviewing Harry Shortway, Mayor of Midland Park, New Jersey. Now, the other interviews showed his um, heroism, his participation in law enforcement, and his background as a Marine, and of course all the medals that, that represent some of the aspects of his heroism and his experiences. But off camera, he just sort of mentioned, oh, and I have an interest in sports, which got me interested because I know nothing about sports. And the fact that two years ago, you gave up your car? In uh, 2015, I was on at the racetrack. I uh, gave up driving a race car. I mean, besides all that, you think he lives on the edge? Okay, <laughs> so tell me about that. Tell me about, oh, I know nothing about sports, so, so fill me in. Okay, and probably, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to high school. I sure. was a great athlete in high school. I played all the three sports. I uh, went in the Marine Corps. I also played sports. I came out. I had a, a tryout with the St. Louis Cardinals in 1958, wow. and uh, I didn't get a bonus. It was only $250 a month. <laughs> you know, I had uh, three ki two kids at that time. Oh, 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 oh. $250 was not a lot of money. No, because I took the tryout. You know, I did make the tryout, and the uh, the scout was from Hawthorne, New Jersey, so he was going to send me down south to play ball. So I made that decision. Now I'll try to beat a policeman. Ah, so I stayed with it. That's right. And, then, you know, I uh, drove for 40-some years at a racetrack at Middle Orange County Speedway. And, what uh, is that like? That's, I, I, I've never met a, a race car driver. I have to tell you a quick story. My brother Jack, who's a year younger than I, you don't have the nerve to drive a stock car. Uh. You know? <laughs> so my mother helped me get a race car. We Your mother it. helped you. She wanted you to race. Car 54, where are you? That was my badge number, and that was the car on them race cars. Car 54. And how many years did you drive? 40 some years. Whoa. Like every week, my, every month? Every Saturday night. And I have uh, two sons and a daughter that drive a race car. You have influenced your family uh, you know, in so many ways. You know, I was, you know, like I said before, I was a coach for years and stuff. Then, uh, you know, I'm a big softball player. I'm trying to make 900 wins this year. In uh, September, I hope to uh, get picked up in the fall league where I can pitch. I don't pitch lob ball. I don't pitch arc ball. I'm a modified pitcher, fast as you want, underhand. Okay, I'm playing with kids 25, 20 years old, 30 years old. And you throw down the middle on them, it's a home run. So I throw a lot of junk. <laughs> now, I'm most joking. of my nephews and my family would know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Uh, but that's yeah. all right, because they do. <laughs> they know you, you're talking sports. <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, and, and it keeps you active and alert. And this, uh, this Saturday coming, I'll be taking part in New Jersey Senior Olympics. I will run the 100-yard dash, and I will play basketball. And last year, I won two gold and two silver in the Senior Olympics. I don't give up. I keep I, working out, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just like to be out there in the public's eye. You know, people said to me, oh, I know you. You played softball. You were a pitcher. Oh, you drove a race car. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did it all. <laughs> I'm proud of what I did in my life. That's and great. my kids have followed their dad's footsteps. My children are great athletes all the way down, you know. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what does being an athlete do for the, the person, the individual? What did you feel? Well, for me, you know, I was just proud to be out there playing ball. Who else can play ball at my age? Okay, that's now, but through your life, that's the summation of it. I was always in a public eye. You like being out there, being seen. You know, I have a, four scrapbooks covered my activities as being a ball player, playing football until I was 39 years old. Wow. You know, I didn't give up. I don't, never want to give up. Did that influence your, your personal life, too? Being yeah. an athlete? Yeah. Yes. I looked at it, you know, I wanted to be a great competitor. I want to be better than everybody else. But, you know, you come into that part there, there are better athletes than yourself out there. Right, right, right. But I didn't want to give up. Okay. So I stayed with it, you know. Excellent. I'm proud of what I accomplished being an athlete, believe me. Good. I have over 15 medals in the Senior Citizens uh, Olympics, <laughs> and I hope... You it's know, 15 Saturday. more than I'd ever had. <laughs> Hope Saturday I'm the top gun. Good, good, I'm good. I'm the top gun. 
I worked hard. I trained hard. I'll make sure Bill is there to cheer you. I uh, run every day. I uh, work you, out. Now you do? You yes. I do the 100-yard dash every night and practice basketball. I shoot from the foul line, so I have to do the best out of 20. Okay. I'll and, take you uh, And I shoot it. around the key. The key is the three-pointer, so. But I, I trained. I worked hard. Excellent. Excellent. I, Excellent. I, I said before, I want to be top gun. Good, good. Good. Speaking of gun, I noticed that you have a gun around your neck. It's not something I normally would uh, be attracted to, but it's a gold gun, and there's a Marine emblem, too. So tell me about those two. Oh, I wear the Marine Corps uh, emblem because I'm a proud Marine. That's great. And my grandchildren are Marines. And my brother-in-laws were Marines. We probably have about 18 shortly family relatives in the Marine Corps. Really? Fantastic. And a gentleman standing out there was also a Marine. Our cameraman. Yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, you you, know, you've met Bill, but he's sort of shy. <laughs> I was given this by a friend because I was a great shooter. Uh, I shot uh, many pistol matches mm. in the state of New Jersey, New York City, and Delaware as a young patrolman. I never had a 300. That's the best you can do. 299s, 298s. Oh, never had a 300. Close. <laughs> close. That close. But it wasn't in the black. Oh, I didn't want to take it. Even if it was a hairline, I wanted them all together in a group. Right, right, right. right. I never had a 300 in my lifetime. So you have quite a diverse career. Yeah. And you've passed so much on to your children and grandchildren. <clears throat> You know, I got to tell you, mostly, I feel that my Marine Corps training was what made me who I am today. In what way? You That's know, great. Being an athlete in the Marine Corps, you know, everybody, uh, I would go back to my company, and my sergeant would call me all kinds of names <laughs> I will not mention. Good, good, good. But I, I was a great ball player. You know, I love playing sports. My dad was a great ball player. My grandfather made the Hall of Fame, pitch against the Giants, the Dodgers, in his day. We were all athletes. That's great. My sisters are great bowlers. My brother Jack was a great athlete. My brother, all my other brothers, because we didn't get along in high school, Jack and I. Your brother? Because we were a year apart. Oh, too close. And one yeah, day yeah. I threw a 48-yard touchdown pass, and next day it said Jack Shortway throws. Whoa! So, <laughs> you know, after that, we both went to the Marine Corps, we got married, and we were the best of friends right now. That's you know? wonderful. But, you know, we are all great athletes, Excellent. the Shortway family. Excellent. Because it comes down through generations, good, you know. Good. And obviously, there's something that's, that holds you together besides the sport. It's the, the spirit behind the sport. Uh, you know, I'm the type of guy who's a loud mouth at the games when my kids play ball. But I know the game. And a lot of uh, coaches on the other side of the field, what is he doing? <laughs> but I don't holler at the kids. I tell my daughter. You struck out. Why'd you strike out? And I'm like that. You know? Whoa. <laughs> and she's a great athlete. She's 13 years old. She <clears throat> plays on a great club team. You know, we travel all over uh, New England, I guess, and uh, called the uh, Forest of uh, Virginia. Playing wow. ball. Bunch of, on the road. Uh, Thank you so much for sharing so much of the personal stuff. Thank you. This has been Father Lewis Scurry, learning sports from Harry Shortway. Sportsman, Marine, policeman, mayor, and the list goes on and on. This has been wonderful. Thank you very much. I'm Thank glad we met. Thank you for having me here. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Let me hear from you, Father Lewis Scurry at Hotmail.com. Thank you.